I have felt like cars have been part of my life and my friends for uh, forever. And to be a car and part of a car in a movie and, and combine my life, my personality, my career with this movie character is, is incredibly special for me because uh, I, I talk to my cars. <laughs> you know, I've named my cars, and th there, are, there are cars that I have had for years that really aren't worth anything to anybody but me. The theme that resonates with me and, and some of the, the people that, that are in the film the most is the fact that, you know, m technology passed McQueen by. And if you look at all of our great racers, that happens, you know, and whether it's technology or the sport's just changing, and you've gotta, gotta be okay with that. You, you, you know that this is a quick moving sport. The, the technology has a lot to do with it. It gets faster and faster and faster. It's no different than, than the Olympics. You know, you, you might have been the man in the 1980s, but, but here, you know, in the 21st century, it's much different. So I think that the fact that McQueen realizes that, he's okay with it, and he's paying it back. He, he's, he's still going to compete in the sport. I hope that it, it, as people watch uh, the film that they really do have an inside perspective of, of what we do, what we say, and know that this is not uh, just something that, that was created. Uh, there's a lot of this film that is really pinpointed, and they've worked really hard about how to explain the rules or the technology with those cars. And that communication, you know, the, the bond between a driver and a crew chief, very important in, in NASCAR racing. And I hope that uh, the time that Jeff Gordon and I spent with them, they've, they've got that.